Reading from top left to bottom right, Jane gets an F on her project and is really frustrated, so she decides to read a magazine just to get her mind off of things. And within the magazine, she finds a note that says, Tomorrow is a new day, which makes her determined to do well better next time. So first of all, it is important that your character is looking at something or somewhere so that there is a reasonable justification for why he or she is staring off into space. For my example, Jane is staring off into her failed project grade. Secondly, make sure the actor's face is not revealed throughout the process of this whole shot, but some parts can be shown, just not the full face, because the full face will be revealed when the actual turn happens. Third, the camera doesn't need to be moving around a lot since the emphasis will be on the turn. For my video example, I move around a little bit since for creative purposes, but in reality, this shot doesn't necessarily need a lot of camera movement. Fourth, make sure there's a variable that makes the actor change his or her mind. This, the turn basically signifies a change in the character and how he or she is going to handle a situation. For my example, Jane is going to look and discover a note in the magazine that says tomorrow's a new day, which makes her determined to do better next time with her project. Fifth, when the turn occurs, the most effective shot, I personally believe, is to use a head-on shot to clearly reveal the character's face. As you can see, there's no other shot, I think, that can do a better job at revealing the character's face completely other than the head-on shot. So when would you use this shot? You use this shot when you're trying to show change. Change in a character's life, change in a character and how he or she is going to handle a situation in a different manner, or to show that the character is about to make a really important announcement. So why would you use this shot? You'd use this shot because it's one of the best ways to emphasize this change in the character. So one or two things that you should keep in mind before you're about to use this shot is to make sure your character's face isn't fully revealed until the turn actually happens. And secondly, make sure there's a variable that causes a change in the character to signify the turn, because without it, the turn will not be successful. So now let's watch this master shot in this example. 